there's still a lot of airdrops they can potentially qualify for even if you were like me and you missed the Arbitrum airdrop the one that I'll be going through today can be done in just a few minutes and the best part is that you do not need to incur any cost at all this opportunity is with the Shadium smart contract platform and it claims to be a linearly scalable layer 1 blockchain a part of the entire supply of the SHM tokens will be allocated towards airdrops and here's what you can do to potentially qualify for these tokens since Shadium is an event compatible network you can go to Chainlist which compounds an entire list of all of these different networks and you can search for Shardium. There are three different versions of the Shardium network that you can add to your MetaMask wallet and the one that you should be adding is Shardium Sphinx as this is the latest version that has just been released. You need to get some testnet SHM tokens and this is done by going to Shardium's Discord and then you can scroll all the way down until you see this faucet channel. The documentation on Shardium shows you the command that you need to type on Discord and don't forget to enter your MetaMask wallet address. You can copy your MetaMask address and paste it here and you should be able to receive the tokens in your wallet. Right now I have some SHM tokens and I can go to Swap Finance which is one of the decentralized exchanges on this network. If you want to interact with Swap Finance, you actually need to add the Liberty Network instead of the Sphinx Network. You can claim your testnet tokens using this channel instead and I'll leave a link in the description below. So similar to above, I will paste my MetaMask address and I should soon receive the funds on the Liberty testnet. Now that I have some SHM tokens, I can then use it to swap to either SWPD or USDC. Since I only have 100 tokens, I'll just be swapping 10 of them. So the gas fee for this transaction is about 0.3 SHM tokens. So that is something that you want to take note of as you are interacting with this network. You can perform this swap a few times in case one of the criteria for the airdrop is the number of transactions that you have performed on this network. You can also perform other transactions on swap finance such as providing liquidity via the various tokens. Another platform where you can perform transactions on is the Shardium name service which is similar to the likes of Space ID, Unstoppable Domains and the Ethereum name service. While your domain name will be binted on the Polygon network, this will eventually be migrated to the Shardium mainnet once it goes live. You can search for your domain that you wish to purchase and it will cost around 11 matic to register for this domain. I tried doing this again and it only cost me 8 matic now so I can confirm the registration of this domain. The gas fee for this transaction is rather cheap as it only costs about 3 cents in matic tokens. You need to make sure that you have matic tokens on the Polygon network within the same address that you're looking to get the Shardium airdrop. If you want to get one of these domains as well, you can use my referral link that I'll leave in the description below. Another step you can perform right now is to complete certain social tasks by Shardium. I have a referral link for that as well, so I will appreciate it if you use it when you are joining this platform. This task can be rather simple, such as following Shardium on Twitter and joining various Telegram and Discord community channels. If you have any questions regarding this airdrop, do feel free to let me know in the comments below. And you can check out my other guide here where I show you how you can prepare for the ZK Sync airdrop. 